Hey everybody, welcome to t Roy Cooks. Appreciate you joining us. This video you're about to see is gonna be a little bit longer because I had quite a few of my YouTube friends over from this area and also from California, you'll see. Uh, we, we actually cooked meats from the region where we grew up. I think there were eight different meats that we cooked on this video. But for instance, I'm from Louisiana, uh, Baton Rouge area, so I made a rabbit gumbo. Uh, James, aim him claim of smokers, he's from here in Texas, so he did ribs, all right? Uh, had Harry Sue over from California, he did some tri-tip. And it was freezing, you'll see, you'll see or hear some snow, sleet, hail during the cook. Oh, and I've got to thank Harry Sue for letting me use some of his footage that he got, because Harry was inside the house a good portion of the time, and he was able to get some of the footage inside, the, inside my kitchen, which I was outside making my roof for my gumbo. That's a whole nother story, folks. I'll tell you about it later. But I was outside for the most part throughout the day. And um, I didn't get a lot of the footage inside. So big kudos to Harry. I appreciate you letting me borrow that footage, man. And I've got to thank Bessie from Bessie Dressy who showed up. Uh, her and her husband were here. They brought some chocolate covered strawberries, which were divine. Appreciate that, Bessie. But Bessie, more importantly, did most of the taste testing. So I really appreciate that. And uh, Justin from Babyback Maniac, he was supposed to be here. He couldn't make it, but he sent us a recipe for some pork loin sliders with a homemade barbecue sauce that was made with uh, some pulverized uh, or uh, yeah, pulverized onion and uh, apple or puree, I guess, along with some other stuff. It was really, really good. In fact, that was the hit of the day. Okay, those little pork sliders. So Justin, thank you very much, man. We sure did miss you. Hope to see you soon, my brother. Anyway, hope you all enjoy this, folks. We had a great day. Hope you enjoy the video. Now stick around. T-Roy's chilling in the backyard grilling, cooking up some barbecue for you. T-Roy's chilling in the backyard grilling, showing you that you can cook in two. Always with the beer or whiskey, but he cooks responsibly. We're just we're just oh, frying yeah. we're yeah. frying yeah. these uh, we're frying the pork is what we're doing. Yeah, we, the ancho and wahil chilies down. We ran it through a, a chinois, so we have a nice silky smooth sauce. And it's got a little bit of spice in it from the wahil. The the ancho is a pretty mild chili, but it's got kind of a licorice flavor to it. So we're gonna take our ancho sauce now and we're gonna put it right on top of our Damn. pulled pork. You wanna try that? Get a shot here. See it tastes like. We're gonna pull pork. Uh, oh my God. Mm. With, uh, wow, that's good sauce. See what he thinks. Right. He's on here with me. Harry Sue oh, trying no. my my cooking. Wow. Great flavor. Pork's really tender. Bones ringing. Who left their phone off? <laughs> <laughs> the chili uh, gives the uh, pork a kind of a nice smokiness. And uh, the silkiness and the milkiness of the avocado. Kind of brings everything home. Great, great, great taco here. Yeah, yeah that part just set. So, scary. so we, we got go. the color that we, we want. Here. That's it. <laughs> Troy sticking in by everybody watching what James is doing here. So it's got some nice color. Now we just want to work on the uh, tenderness. Yeah. You want some too, right? It's, it's a cute dog. Fifi, Fifi's uh, always looking for some scraps. Fifi's mm -hmm. looking for scraps here. All right, so James, give Fifi some scrap later. Talk about the some little barbecue we'll buddies. Yeah, give him some scrap here. All right, we'll yeah. give her yeah. a little, little small bit piece of the pitmaster privilege. Pit pitmaster privilege. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Whiskey and barbecue hey, showed up, and look what he's got. Wow, look at that. That's good stuff, right? How's it, Fifi? Good? Is it good? Good? You like it? Mm-hmm. All right, wonderful. Some more. Fifi approved. Fifi approved. Fifi approved ribs today. <laughs> Maybe it has a good yeah, taste. Scott, Shay, 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 sure does. All right, James from AMM and Clem has a special guest, and uh, you want to introduce your special guest and what she's going to do? This is Bessie Dressy. <laughs> the <laughs> Bessie Dressy. Mega <Yeah>. YouTuber. <laughs> yes, Mega, and, Mega YouTuber, yeah. <clears throat> and she is going to uh, taste a rib with me. Okay. By the way, rates are my favorite. Oh, yeah? <laughs> okay. James is a, yeah, he's a fantastic. Just, just saying that. James so, is a fantastic rib cooker, so you are in luck today. We're gonna, you guys can, I don't know if you can pick that up, but I mean, there's plenty of moisture yeah, wow. in these ribs. Yeah, the juicy. Yeah, the juicy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, she ate two sandwiches oh, earlier, I right? Did. You ate two sandwiches <laughs> earlier. I, I was surprised. She ate actually two sandwiches. <laughs> I'll let Bessie. Pick okay, Bessie, one. you pick one. And, it's up to you. Yeah. This is so oh. difficult, this issue. Yes, but you pick a big one or small one? But the big one is tender. Medium. Medium one. Medium one. Okay, cool. Okay. I like James, the, you ready? Okay. Yeah, I like this part. There's a little less meat, oh, but I, I, like you want, you want the end part? The tiny one? Or you can have this one. I can have this one. Okay. Okay, everybody. So, it's a rip. Uno, dos, tres. Okay. <laughs> Uno, dos, tres. Mmm. Mm. It's so soft. <laughs> it is. The meat came right off. Mm. Just a good, solid Texas rib. <laughs> Salt, pepper, garlic. You know, uh, sometimes I do a lot of ribs. <laughs> And she wants some. <clears throat> she wants some. <laughs> Give her some. Baby. She's uh, barking. That's why. All right, cut the monologue. Feed the dog, please. There you go. Okay. What you do like you, you love it? What do you think? Good? Do you approve? Approve? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, I think it's just a good solid Texas rib. Mm. Really good. Right. Take a small one here. Nice and tender. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful smoke ring. Absolutely delish. Mmm, very good. Smoky, salty, peppery. Just a perfect combination of flavor. This is how a Texas rib looks and tastes like. Absolutely wonderful. The little ones also get a chance to try some. Yes. So this style of grill is very popular in Santa Maria and most folks in Santa Maria like to lower the grates down near the fire. They like to sear the meat first and then they crank it up high to roast the meat. Mm -hmm. But we're going to do it the backwards way. So I know that there's blasphemy. There will be folks from Santa Maria who are going to send me hate mail. That's but okay. I'm going to explain to you why I you, do it this way. You're in Texas. That's okay. I'm in Texas. <laughs> Y'all <laughs> <Y 'all laughs> do what Troy and Harry says, okay? Yeah. <laughs> So the idea is this, the reason we cook it high is because we want to get a little bit of smoke on it. And uh, when you want to cook it high, the pores are open so that the meat will absorb the smoke. And once the smoke is absorbed and the temperature is about 110 degrees, we want to lower it so we can get a nice char. So I prefer to smoke followed by a sear. And if that's not how you like your Santa Maria tri tip, please do it your way. Don't do it our way because we're in Texas, y'all. That's what makes cooking fun, though. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna put a pork tenderloin also, and at the same time, we're gonna cook the pork tenderloin on the side. So, this is gonna be absolutely an Instagram shot right here with all the meats balanced onto this beautiful grill here. And if you want your, your grill, go check out Gabby's.com. Is Gabby's, it Gabby's? Gabby's Grills.com. Gabby's, I, I gotta get one of these too. I don't have this yet. I'm kind of envious that I come over to Austin, Texas. And Troy's got a Santa Maria, California grill, and I don't. So I'm gonna go get myself one after this episode. Yep. And then uh, here's a chunk of uh, red oak from Santa Maria. The red oak is the name of the type of oak, but the actual genus is called live coastal oak. So you put a log in here. Get some of that wonderful smoke flavor from the Santa Maria style wood. It's hot, ain't it? It's hot, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> this is a live show, you know that. Well, as the wood as the wood burns too, you want to raise and lower your grill grate just to maintain the temps. Yes. And today it's good to have a hot blazing fire. Yeah. Why? Because the camera people are all shivering. It's 30 degrees out here and it's sleeting here in Austin, Texas. All right, maybe we need There's to flip Troy. it. Um, We're going to film each other filming each other. Gotcha, John. <laughs> <laughs> And here we go. All right, the tri-tip is coming along great, and I'm just gonna check it and maybe do a little flip so it gets a nice char on both sides. Yeah, that's coming along fine. So, nice color. And you wanna make sure that it doesn't burn. You don't want any burnt rub on your meat here. So that looks perfect right I'm, there. I'm, I miss putting the rub on there. What'd you put on there? We use uh, some uh, garlic, some of the uh, beef rub, some uh, black pepper, just three, three items okay. on it. Okay. That'll do the job. This over here. And this one over also. Fried chips are in the middle of this nice little little uh, little little uh, beef and uh, pork kumbaya. Oh yeah. Beef and pork kumbaya right here, man. Thinking of you, Justin. Yeah, Justin. Uh, this is this is for you here. This is this uh, Mr. Baby Bag Maniac. Yep, Mr. Baby Bag Maniac. We're making some Arkansas piggy piggy sandwiches for you. <laughs> it's gonna be wonderful. 
Sweet! Sweet! The tri tip is done and uh, brother James is going to slice it for me. So like I mentioned, James, right, the tri tip looks like a boomerang. So you want to make a cut this way and a cut this way first. And that will basically allow you to slice it against the grain. What is not intuitive is that if it's like a stealth fighter, the grains actually run from nose to tail. So James is going to cut it into three pieces first. He's going to pull the center piece aside, turn it 90 degrees and then slice it across the grain. That way you can make sure that the meat will tear and will be tender. I'm going to make a paper tin slices and this is the characteristic of Santa Maria style tri-tip. We cook it to be about medium rare-ish or so. Some people like it medium but I kind of like it medium rare so it's going to make it very very thin slices and uh, we're going to plate it to with some piquito beans shortly on this uh, blue plate here. Some people like it with sauce, some people don't like it with sauce, it's okay, whatever way you like. I like to sprinkle a little bit of final dusting rub on top to balance out the saltiness and flavors so that you get a perfect Santa Maria style bite with the garlicky, the peppery and the saltiness and then of course the special red oak wood that was used to cook this or live coastal oak to be exact. So the Pinquito beans is a bean native to the Santa Maria region which is the region between San Francisco and uh, Los Angeles. And uh, the beans are sm kind of small and petite, but they are, have packed with full of flavor. Okay, so uh, we, we're going to have Bessie, Bessie taste, Bessie our official taste tester. Okay, Bessie? Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> and uh, give it a shot. Is she eating Oh no, she's eating the bone. Oh no! Oh. Get it away from her. I thought that somebody gave it to her. <laughs> no, 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 she found it. Somebody dropped it on the floor. <laughs> Oh, she got the meat. The bone came out. She got the meat. <laughs> you're not, you're not going to go get that from her. Get the meat. 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 Get the Get the meat. 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 California style barbecue. Actually, I'm With the beans or how? Uh, you can eat it by itself and then taste the beans after that. I'll yeah. give another second spoon here. Okay. Try it. Alright, so that's how Santa Maria style barbecue mm. tastes like. I like the rub. Which rub did you use? Uh, I'm not sure, Harry. Which one did we you put? You put your all your purpose. Your some garlic and black pepper. So it's three, three ingredients on the Santa Maria mm -hmm. tip. We yeah. use uh, the moolah rub, I think it's a, it's a beef rub. Uh, you see it's over here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the meat, the moolah rub. It's got Worcestershire powder, citric acid, uh, powder shiitake oh, mushroom. Sure. So it's good for beef. Yeah. Right. Okay, go ahead and try, try the, uh, the beans now. The, try the pinquito beans. I'm saying you know, pinquito. 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 Pinquito beans, sorry. Pinquito. Never had pinquito. them before. Yeah. So try it. It's a small little bean. I think it's good mm. flavor. Right, oh, wow. You're really good. Mm -hmm. mm. So it's a cross between maybe a kidney bean. Did and you a add bean. stuff or this is how? Uh, we just it? add a little bit of jalapeno and onion and we cooked it with a little bit of garlic. So just it's to really kind of get a little bit of more flavor into it. Oh, yeah. I dig it. The uh, tenderloin is done, so it's beautifully cooked. I'm going to make uh, our little piggy piggy Arkansas pork sliders in honor of uh, Justin now. So I'm going to slice the uh, pork tenderloin and uh, make it thin, make nice thin cuts like so and I made a little mayo with Texas speed sauce here so some beautiful pork I have my pig candy right here oh they also want some food yeah but, uh, smell it. get some uh, of the uh, mayo here and go zoom in and take a closer look here all right the latest over here Put a pile of pork on it. So beautiful smoked pork tenderloin with a barbecue rub. We'll get some of the uh, pig candy on top. Pig candy is just a brown sugar and some barbecue rub, cayenne pepper, and get some of the sauce right on top. So Justin, baby back maniac, since you couldn't make it, this is for you. A little uh, piggy piggy pork slider with a beautiful, spicy, sweet, Arkansas style red sauce. And there you have it. Sporty sauce. Okay.
So there is a particular way to eat this. So you, you hold it like this, two hands, right? Oh. Uh, on this side. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, hold two hands, right, like this. Yeah. And then you lean forward so that when you it drips, it drips on the tray, not on your pants. Okay, here we go. Go ahead. This is this difficult. Okay. Yeah, big bite, big bite. Okay. Big bite, that's it. Wonderful. Okay, keep, keep biting. Okay. Get the, some of that pea candy, get some of that pork there, the sauce, the mayo, the bun. Mm. Okay, all right, what do you think? Tell the camera what do you think. <laughs> you can say, good, you can, you can say it in Spanish or in English. Both are good. Okay. Somebody have a napkin? <laughs> That's really good. Really flavorful. Está bien rico. Tiene bastante sabor. Mucha salsa. Bien jugosito. Really juicy. Juicy? Like. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I can taste all the sauce. The sauce. All right. What are you this is a made? pork tenderloin, and uh, we made a homemade Arkansas barbecue sauce here with a. Uh, yeah, that sauce is really good. Good, okay, I like wonderful. It, but it's, done that, it's not that strong. Mm -hmm. It's just like you can taste really good flavor. <coughs> wonderful. It's really good. <laughs> it's okay. She's going it's back again. again. <laughs> good. She's going back again. You must she be really good. No Twice in a row. In her pork slider game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Good. good. Excellent. You keep it. That's yours to keep. Get, get a napkin, somebody, please. <laughs> okay, so make me cut the rest of everybody here. We've got a lot happening over here, folks. And I'm still, still stirring my roof. Y'all check it out. It's been going. Happy action. Good. Now, Harry, you gotta let us know when you're gonna do that, man. I'm sorry, what? You gotta let us know when you're oh, okay, right. in there. <laughs> sorry, take two. Take two. There's more than one people filming over here, man. You selfish bastard. <laughs> Alright, go. The guy that's cooking it didn't even get it on camera. I know. <laughs> it's his, it's his I'm meat loaf. Come on, Harry. Yeah, it's, not, uh, it's the magic of TV. <laughs> he made he made two. <laughs> yeah, I made two. What, right. you, what you got? You got one ready in the oven already? Yeah. Magic of TV. <laughs> so basically, we're just going to take it out and drop it off. Is anything else going back on here? No, nah, we're good. No, we created space for yeah. you. Right. Meatloaf, baby. All right, come on. Homemade meatloaf. Right, homemade meatloaf. Man. The dog father meatloaf. Put a bit of uh, barbecue sauce on it. You can put some barbecue sauce on top. Wonderful. Look at that. Oh, yeah, barbecue baby. Meatloaf, man. Mm, mm, mm. Delish. What kind of sauce did you put on there? This is uh, head country. Apple habanero. Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Excellent. Good stuff, man. <laughs> Smells good out here. It's real good too. So just to give you an idea on temperature, you know, we were talking earlier. Yeah, I want to see so we this, check with how plump on this. this one is mm -hmm. right now, and it's just starting to leak. One ninety four, one ninety five, hmm. probably one ninety six or seven by the time yeah, it's it settles pop out. when you eat it. Yeah, yeah and you that that's nice how you pop. get the clean break on the skin. But once you go too far over it, you can see some of these other ones got a little uh -huh. wrinkly. Once you get to that two hundred six, two hundred seven. You're going to start getting some little breaks in the skin, lose some juice, and it'll shrivel. Glad you're here, Scott. I'm glad I'm here, too. We're Texas, eating good today. Texas Sausage <laughs> Company, folks. I'll check them out eating online. Eating good, drinking good, having a good time. What's your website, man? TexasHotSausage.com. Cool. So you sell this already cooked, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, but chilled. Chilled. Okay. Either vacuum packed yeah. or in 10 pound yeah, boxes. Snap is fantastic. The dead snap from the bill casing. Yeah, that's what I get out of it. It's really uh, good, good sausage when you have that. Wonderful snap from it. I like a black pepper flavor, man. Yeah, strong Seriously. black pepper, yeah. Very Texas style. Yeah, go for it. The natural, man. Mm -mm. I like the end right here. Man. Chasing at the end. Mm. Good and gracious. Are these those yeah. little short links you have? Yeah, those are the pop. country style five to ones. For the skin? Mm. Love that pop. Mm hmm. Good stuff. Up many years. Awesome. All right, guys, so we got our meatloaf off the uh, pit. We smoked it, what, 275? It's probably been on there for uh, eight hours. Yeah, something like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sunday set. The rule is not that. Uh, time the rib. <laughs> yeah, right? So anyway, so we, we got the meatloaf off here. Again, it's stuffed with cream cheese. So we're going to take a slice and uh, see what happens here. Oh, super tender. Looks like meatloaf. There you go. Oh, oh. Move that meat. Move that meat. Oh, there you go. Mmm, look at that. Nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. Very nice.
The cream cheese, the fries. Put it down before it falls apart. <laughs> Good idea. The stuff you brought. There you go, oh, yeah. there you go Harry. Get some food oh, yeah. here. Get some slow mall here. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> That's some good stuff. Mm -hmm. That's real good. I think that's a winner, folks. I think old, old Harry don't mind grabbing all the <laughs> wow. cheese, does he? No, no. lose. That didn't hurt his feelings awesome. a bit. No, no, no not one bit. Susan, you lose. You lose. <laughs> good meat, though. It is. Nice job, Alton. Well, it also came to how the meal just a touch. All right, well, everybody see here. Why don't we eat the wings now? They're right behind all. Okay, so the wings here, let's do a little taste test on the wings, and then gumbo after that, right? Yeah, gumbo after that. Gumbo is the dessert, right? That's the last one. Yeah, gumbo's a midnight snack. It's a midnight snack, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Alton, you're welcome here anytime, bro. Thank you, man. Just bring your meatloaf, man. Thanks, man. Alton won. Yeah, well, you did better than me. My deal was you're welcome anytime here, but remember, you're the pool boy. That was <laughs> <laughs> We have you Santa Maria like style chicken wings Pretty quick. with okay. amazing Once we taste Cajun and it's incredible. And we decided to go ahead and toss it with some Harry Sue's barbecue sauce at the end. And then we put it back on the grill to get a little bit more smoke okay. flavor on there. Okay. These are smelling great. All right. Everybody grab a piece. I'll mm. let y'all, y'all decide. <laughs> Is that your way out of eating more? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be over here with the meatloaf. <laughs> Keep an eye on him, he might be gone. Around. I'm with you, James. <laughs> they can have the wings. I mean, I'm going to taste one, but... Oh, let's see. I'm that glad you tossed it in that sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> tossing the sauce right. made it. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The smoke yeah. with that shot you know, together. That's Santa Maria Grill, man. I'm telling yeah, you. That's Santa Maria yeah, Grill I guess I'll try it, Wayne. I'm ordering one tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It's hard to beat that tarp for you. Another wonderful yeah, yeah, meal so here at Old T-Roy's house. Yeah. 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 Yo, check them out. What's new barbecue? Kenneth, you cook these wings up. Ooh, I love that. That's good stuff, man. Dang. <laughs> all right, guys. We took a break between all the cooking and everything, and I've got Ryan here. His channel, again, is Whiskey and Barbecue, and he does two videos a week. One of them. You do some whiskey tasting. We do whiskey tastings on the regular. We do those every or every Wednesday night. You can come by and see us. Okay. Link will be down below in the description box, folks, for his channel. I'll check him out. And barbecue as well. What goes great with whiskey? Some good, great barbecue, right? Absolutely. All right. Especially if it's gumbo. <laughs> Rabbit gumbo, That's man. That's a whole different thing. It is, yeah. You have to watch. <laughs> uh, Ryan actually brought a bunch of different whiskeys, and we've been kind of sampling on some of them. And he asked me if I wanted to try one that we'd sampled and do a little quick taste test. And I was like, I've already tasted it. Let's do something different, man. So he pulled out this one. What, what we got here? All right. So what we got here is Slane Irish Whiskey. It's a triple cask. And what's cool about Slane is it's an Irish whiskey that's being made in an old world style, but they say they're fusing it with like rock and roll roots. Hmm. So Slane Castle in Ireland had a bunch of big concerts there. U2 was there. A couple other things. And there's some funny kind of lore type stories behind it that the Slane Castle got um, notary with the English because the a f very high monarch in the English family used to go meet a hot redhead at Slane Castle mm. that was Irish. Awesome. Yeah. Gotta love the Irish. Lots of great stories behind that one. So, oh, yeah. um, Irish whiskeys. This is a uh, pot still. Triple cast, so it's going to have a bunch of wood flavors running through it. Yeah. Yep. Um, Irish is a nice, clean flavor. It's not going to be overly smoky. Well, yes, go for it. Do they uh, do they age it in oak barrels? Yep. Okay. So what you'll notice with Irish whiskeys and on my channel, it they, smells strong. Yeah. Well, it's it, it's forty percent. Yeah. So it's eighty proof. I'm smelling the alcohol. Yeah, well, it's also cold because you've had me outside in the 30 degree weather all day. Hey, and I appreciate you doing all the help <laughs> on the roof too, man. We had a long cook on that roof, that folks. Fun. So with Irishes, a lot of times what you're going to pick up is like a kind of a, a shortbread flavor and smell. You're going to get like a green apple, a little bit of spice. I smell the wood. Yeah. Definitely. So it's got a great color. Nice caramel kind of hay. Um, no, just darker. Yeah. Whenever caramel you color. smell, open your mouth. And... 
breathe in because what happened oh. you, there you go oh. yeah right learn something new you folks you learn some stuff there you go because you'll get the, you get the smell and kind of some of the yeah. taste so that's an alcohol go by and get so many more smells out of it cheers cheers I'm gonna give it a taste I like that yeah right yeah I'm tasting cinnamon uh huh a little bit, it has a little bit of spice, it'll have cinnamon, a little bit of clove. But it's not as like in your face as a bourbon. This is, because everybody that's been here today and the entire crew of YouTubers that you had over here today, they were asking me like, well, okay, what's your favorite whiskey? And I kept pointing to Slam, like, it's, it's a whiskey that I can sit there, I can focus on, I can pick out a bunch of different flavors out of it. Mm -hmm. Or if I just want something that I sit back and sip and don't have to try it all, I'm getting the grass. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the grassy notes, yeah. but... Uh, yeah. Just that, that spiciness that mm -hmm. you're talking about. I'm, I'm really picking up cinnamon yeah. myself. But I'm also getting like some vanilla. Mm -hmm. it, and that's the vanilla, the shortbread kind of flavor. Yeah. A lot of people, and it, it is cold, so some of the flavors are muted, but normally mm -hmm. this tastes like Girl Scout cookies. Like the shortbread Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. Yeah. You're so, right. Mm -hmm. Smart guy when it comes to whiskey, man. He can also cook his butt <laughs> off on his grills. Y'all need to go check him out, man. And uh, Ryan, I really appreciate you Hanging out here, and uh, I appreciate you stirring the pot. <laughs> no lie, man. Good my, my back's killing me right now, folks. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me over. I appreciate I'm, you bringing something to sample on. I brought, well, I brought a lot of something. So. Whiskey and Barbecue. It's a great channel. This is a great matchup between, you know, which of you guys don't go out there and do some barbecuing, maybe have a cigar, grab you a little whiskey. You should. Yeah. This dude and his channel, you go check him out. They do it every week for you. <laughs> it's good stuff. All right. Well, until next time. Mm, that's good stuff. All right. Let's go finish some cooking, man. What you say? Cook responsibly. Yeah. He stole my line. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, guys. I need another shot, man. There's a bottle right there. I know. I think they had it. <laughs> Cheers. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to T-Bone Cook. <laughs> All right, folks, we got some rabbit here that I smoked earlier. A long time ago earlier, like nine hours ago. We're going to add it to this gumbo. Uh, that ain't a lot. Give it a nice stir. Let this go for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to taste it for seasoning. And just, if you need some more salt and pepper, add it. I think everything else is in here that I need. So I'm making some rice. Don't forget the rice. And I got some uh, sassafras leaves. Ground it up with some uh, filet. We're gonna make a filet gumbo. Y'all stick around, it's gonna be good. First time. All right, first time, first time Bessie trying some gumbo. gumbo. And this is the uh, it's really good though. five hours roux invested in here. <laughs> and uh, wore out six men stirring the roux for five <laughs> hours. Because each person stirred at, at approximately one hour each. It's to a get, team effort. It's and a team effort. For it. All right, moment of truth now, Mr. Troy. You're gonna taste, and they're gonna have all of our crew here. Whatever's left of our crew, all the YouTubers have left. <laughs> <laughs> the remaining hardcore ones, right? Still holding their cameras up. In Some people did have to leave because this took so long to cook. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and I feel sorry they had to drive five, what, four hours, right, uh, back to... I did, I did give Kenneth what's new barbecue something to take home with him. Okay. Justin, we miss you, man, we miss you. Yeah, we miss you, Justin. So this is for <sighs> Justin, okay, have a bite. All right, we're gonna give it a bite. Okay, you gotta get some rice. Some little sauce, rabbit. little sauce in there. Oh Good. yeah, man. a little bit too much rice. All right, a little rabbit, a little rabbit, a little sausage, a little sausage. There the we sauce. go, folks. Here we go. That's the bite, man. That's the bite right there. Everybody got it? No. Nope. All right. All right. Okay, you, we let you have first bite right. since it's, you, you're the host. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, verdict. It's really good, but for me, it tastes good out of the pot. When you add the rice, I think it needs a little bit more salt. That's just my own opinion. But it's really, really good. Try it. And it looks good, too. Excellent. Good stuff. Okay, everybody grab a spoon. Everybody do a communal, communal bite. Everybody come over. Come over and do a kumbaya, kumbaya <laughs> come, uh, bite of the Cajun. Dig in. Dig in, everybody. I'm, Are I'm you going to do this me? One. I'm going. I'm emotionally invested in this oh, one. Are you doing that? Okay. Bill, here. <clears throat> that one's something to do, huh? It could use a little more juice. 
Pour some, pour some juice in there. Pour some juice on it. Pour some juice. The pot is right there. A little bit more juice, I think. Excuse me. Mm. <laughs> That's real good. I like it. It's good. All right, everybody. I appreciate all of my fans for watching this. This is a great collaboration video. I had a lot of great YouTubers here today. Y'all go check out their channels. I'll list them in the description box. And uh, Lucy and Fifi and Little Belle over here. Wonderful dogs. And Fifi actually snuck off of the rib earlier. I hope y'all saw it. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks to all my friends. Y'all go check them out. Food was absolutely amazing. We had so much going on today. I didn't get a lot of the footage. So y'all be sure to go check out all of the other YouTubers that are involved here and check out their footage of their videos that they shot here. Folks, I appreciate it again. Thanks again. Hope y'all like this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hope you share the video. And when you do, please tell all your friends, T-Roy Cooks, responsibly. Woo! Yeah, Way better. Way better. <laughs> you weren't filming? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not a one of these were recorded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. really oh, my battery ran out. <laughs>